just another short video witnessing for my works but anyways it's not about my works I just want to demonstrate what's going on with YouTube there was a rally for Arthur Pulowski, the pastor in Edmonton that was arrested for uh, feeding the, uh, the poor, supposedly, and uh, teaching when the mandates were out. And they used the news to advertise him and uh, promote him. And uh, it was a, a, a big thing. And I heard about this rally, and I, I left... Niagara Falls and went to Edmonton uh, to go to this rally. Uh, I get there. I meet uh, a media platform called Black Sheep Media. And um, we walk together into the, the rally. Well, the rally was maybe 300 people, uh, City Hall, and uh, they did their things. Uh, I met uh, the so-called pastor Arthur Pelosi, or Pelosi, ski or whatever, um, and I give him my Walls of Jericho prayer, and my intention was to spread this prayer um, if you see my prior videos it's explained in there I don't need to do it again and he kind of looked at it looked at me like who are you uh, I read a couple words on it a couple seconds and then just like kind of tossed it back to me in his hand eh? and uh, I said sir Pastor, there's something coming upon this earth, and I have a message for you. And he says he was busy. Well, I understand you were at a rally, but I was trying to get his attention. I said something else to him. I'm not sure exactly how it went, but he just left. And I met Shiloh Lewinsky there who was one of the uh, the talkers at the rally. And um, she does not look like at all what her pictures look like. Um, she may have used to, but not at all. And uh, also, Laura Lynn Taylor Thompson was there. Both girls are uh, news media that I followed for a bit, and it was just... The Lord brought us all together at that place at the same time. After the rally, <clears throat> the people that I spoke of, except for the pastor, gathered at uh, the East Edmonton Mall and went in for uh, a lunch. There were seven of us, and we all pretty well ordered about the same thing. Uh, you know, we didn't lavish in foods or anything. And I thought it was a great time to get her attention. So, after they had all ordered and stuff like that, I had walked over to the... We were discussing and all that, and I'm still trying to get their attention, and they, they won't even give me the time of day, really. So I had got up, and I walked... Uh, or the waiter had come over, and, and it was during COVID... He had said there was eight people now at the table and there was, we had gone over the limit. It could only be so many people at a table. He was trying to split us up. We were talking Christianity. And we tried to move to a table beside or that so we could keep the conversation going because we didn't want to be too loud going over a couple tables speaking to one another. So he was going to... Uh, split us up and I said that's okay 
I walked over to, uh, I says, come with me for a minute, please. And I walked over with the waiter to pay the bill at the table. And as we were talking, as I was paying the bill for all, all of us at the table, uh, I asked, why would you split us up? And he says, it's the rules. I says, it's the rule to, for one. He says, well, you know, we got to follow the rules. He was East Indian. He was not a Canadian. He was Muslim. And he didn't want to hear her our discussions of Christianity in the the bar. And I says, are you taking this out on us because of our uh, topic of conversation? And he goes, no. And I says, well, we, we hear other people speaking about other stuff, religion, and it's okay for them, but you seem to attack us. And he says, he asked me to leave. I was kicked out. Of course, after I paid the bill. Uh, so he walked me back to the table to get my jacket and to es uh, escort me out. And I said to the table, I says, I'd just been removed from the, the restaurant. And the, uh, they said, why? I says, because I'm a Christian. And he was offended. So I would got out in the parking lot and of course I now I'm sitting alone I was waiting for everybody and uh, uh, I was supposed to meet up with Black Sheep uh, Media afterwards because I also give him some money to help him out too now I'm not saying anything to be bragging here but at that time I had my, my son was I'm looking for prayers I, they won't let me near my son um I'm trying to get out what's going on with this medical system. And I think that's why the Lord had told me what he was gonna do with my son, is because the information needed to be focused on what the medical system is doing. And I'm going to put out uh, the Ronald McDonald House here. I think it's organ harvesting for the elite. But get back on subject. The people came out uh, I told them we would meet all, I'll meet, meet you in the parking lot, gonna go have a cigarette and that, and uh, we'll talk, continue talking there. Got out in the parking lot. Um, Sheila and Laura Lee didn't uh, give me a time of day, thank you, or anything like that. Um, I continued on. with um, Black Sheep Media and speaking about what my movement was and what I was doing. And he was uh, uh, promoting not scripture, but what was going on with the country. Uh, he's a very, very nice guy, very good. He's French and English. He's from uh, uh, Quebec. Um, it might be a good guy to look up. And uh, he does his uh, media in French and English. He translates it for people. At this time, I've spent over $100,000 going back and forth in Canada trying to wake up people. I live in poverty now because I gave my life savings for this. I pray people understand that when you attack somebody, you're putting out your thoughts, your view. But little do you know about the other person, what is happening, you know? Why do you have to be so vicious with people? Because you don't understand and don't want to take the time. This is separating the wheat from the tares. The tares are uh, focused on their treasures and people proclaiming the scripture from the end of their tongue 
with the wisdom of the Father is hindering their movements. So they're going to attack. And all I can say is, thank you for attacking me. Because if they hated Jesus, you're smart, you know the rest. Thank you, Father for allowing us to use your word. Less of me, more of you. I pray that you give my tongue, my lips, ability to speak clearly, that I may go and have no place of rest for my head. As Jesus showed us the way, we are not to change it, but to follow it. Thank you, Father. I've been very com comforted, comforted in your word these last days of being verbally abused by ignorance and lack of wisdom. Do not take fault on him or people who take your word and manipulate it for their riches. As Jesus spoke to the rich man and said, as the rich man had said, I do all those things, Lord. What else may I do to assure me heaven? And Jesus said, go, sell everything. Give it to the poor. And follow me. It was too much for the rich man. He walked away disappointed. Why would Jesus say that? You give one man five shilling, another man 10 shilling, another man one shilling, and who did he reward? How do you siphon that out? You ask yourself, those men were given, the rich man, probably stole and he filled his house up with idols and gods of thief thievery manipulating money out of people is what we see today as well so father reward your people with your word for this time as we wait for your son's arrival. Patience. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. In your name I do pray. 